Da -da -dum. Ah, the music even stopped. We're four minutes in, and I haven't even started the game yet. I just want to make sure that the live stream is going to All right, now I'm watching my own live stream to check it out. That's kind of awkward. All right, now I'm watching my own live stream to check it out. That's kind of awkward. Oh, I seem like I could be pretty decent. I'm gonna have to turn my volume up a little bit. Is that is that better? Can you hear me better? Let's go medium. Nice. Her audiences only. Oh dang. Been waiting for this game for ten years. Oh, it's a
My name is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life away from Sicily, in America, across anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work. And what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't gonna do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, we don't hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! Holy shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Alright, uh, so, uh, what do you think of the mic and the audio, buddy? Just let, let me know if the audio is... Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Alright, I need to go to the settings real quick. First of all, we gotta do my class. Music's gonna be turned down a little bit. Same with radio. Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, let's make sure the, the audio is actually working. Oh, yeah, there's no choice. All right, Scaletta. Hello, Raditori. Risalate di poter giocare con noi. Shit! I'm dead! I'm dead! Shit! Get up! Come on! Jesus! Aya! Oh, 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 oh
Oh, that guy's saying his more troops headed this way. All right. You and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Ain't getting through this way. Looks like we found the machine gun. Watch it. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovesse ascoltare i consigli di noiarsi del posto. Ci rendiamo. Sapete che potete affidarvi a me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? Because he told them to. I love how some of the cutscenes are only in one ear. It's kind of a annoying. <laughs> oh, achievement, boys! We're going somewhere. We going places.
Home sweet home. Two years later, Empire Bay, February 8th, 1945. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sauces. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bad shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record? Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? Almost three. Only since Ellie's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? from old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Yeah, here's to the U.S. of A. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. How come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't wanna go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. I messed up the audio, because some of the cutscenes are only in one. and daughter, working for the Yankee Hey, Giuseppe, it's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is... Uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. I looked it up and it's a... It's a You're welcome. Good one You're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first I gotta go home. Alright, you wanna ride? No thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, one of the ears is dialogue on the other heart. The other ear is just like noises. It's so funny because like I could hear every crack and stuff out of the one ear, but I could hear him talking in my left ear. Oh, this game. This game. Here we are. Ooh, All right, thanks. Well Keep the change. Is but the fire is so delightful. 
And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Man, it's Vito! Ah, uh, hello, you. Mrs. Uh... And I've Vito? It is you. You look so handsome in that uniform. Your mother must be so proud. Uh... And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How is he doing? His poor mother was expecting him home a week ago. Yeah, uh, Sal joined the Navy. I'm in the Army. It's different. Why don't you come inside and have some tea? Let's go. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going and on? We wait for you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Yeah, he didn't say grace. It's like he had a little bit of a little bit of a little You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. Swag. Thanks, home skillet. Or mom, whatever you want to be called. Is this my room? Wow, what a, a great looking room. Man, I thought my room sucked. Whoa, look at this updated game. Did you see the light off? I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This game's awesome. Dude, I can turn lights on and off. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay. Get dressed. Leather jacket. Mafia 3 combat jacket. Sweet. I can literally just wear Lincoln Clay's jacket. Mafia 3. Oh, sweet. Please tell me it doesn't have, like, Vietnam dog tags on it or else it's gonna... Oh, it even says clay on it. If only this said, like, skelet on it, it'd look a lot better. Can I zoom the camera out or is it always in his face like this? I'm not gonna wear this just because it looks weird. There we go. I'll wear his classic outfit. Everyone loves this outfit. So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh... Looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe! You want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him. Work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Leo. super Italian name. Papa Lardo. Jeez. But to be fair, this game is about Italian mafia.
I don't I'm give a sorry. damn. I don't care we'll if you gotta sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Hey, you. you mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah? Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Please, please. You're making it even worse. Stop, stop! Please, Bill, what are you doing? Please, Vito, this isn't your problem. I think he died. Ah, fuck this. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I ain't gonna make that kind of money I'll take care at the of this. Port. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. <sighs> I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. This is how internet and streaming happens. The recording on my end is fine. I just checked it out. Moved it on YouTube, and that was fine. If you want to switch from Twitch to YouTube, that could be, that could be a problem. Yet. It's the same as when you asked me ten seconds ago. For crying out loud. What the hell's the matter with you now? It's taking you forever and I'm cold. So sit in the damn car if you're cold. It's cold in the car, too. Hurry up and fix this piece of junk. And it get done a hell of a lot quicker if you quit nagging me and give me a hand. I am not nagging you. Yeah, uh-huh. Well, if you're as good with a wrench as you were with your mouth, we could have this damn thing fixed already. Uh, you are so useless. It's no wonder the army wouldn't take you. Ugh, you had to bring that up again, didn't you? Ethel's husband, Frank, he's a fighter pilot. Margaret's husband, Charlie, he drives a submarine. I'm warning you. My husband? Oh, he's a 4F. He works at the grocery store. You know what? Fix it yourself, then, you lousy bitch! Hey, need a hand? <sighs> sure do. Hope you're better at this thing than my good-for-nothing nice. husband. Here we go. All done. I just needed to, uh, screw a couple things in. Really? Well, <laughs> thank you very much, handsome. Don't mention it.
like they could have like really remastered this game. Like, like, Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs, and tell him that racket last night has to stop. <laughs> just leave. I just like I don't care what you have to say, lady. Hey, this is bad, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't get out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Uh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Better we have to stop where you can all have fun. The fun's over, baby. Later, I say. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catching up to do. Looks like you're doing okay, Joey boy. Not bad. I tell you, that little Spanish broad is fucking wild. So how'd it go at home? Good. Mama wasn't thrilled when I mentioned your name, though. And you know how she is. She wants me to get a straight job. You're gonna look for one? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna make the same mistake my own man did. I gotta pay off his debts, then get back on my feet and get my own place. I need to make some real money. I'm punching the clock ain't gonna cut it. Hey, you can stay with me as long as you need to, and we'll find you a job where you can make good money without killing yourself, all right? Music to my ears. Right now, I'm living off the 20 bucks the state gives me every week. <laughs> I know lots of people who pay well for a risky job, so to speak. I'm sure I can line something up for my oldest friend. The working man's a sucker, that's for damn sure. You said it. Okay, step one. I gotta introduce you to Giuseppe so we can pick up them discharge papers. Let's go. Alright, so how does that sound? I, uh, turn, I turn my mic up more. You made enough cash for all this in the last three years? More like the last three months. I barely had time to furnish the place. Three months? Holy shit. You just gotta know the right people, and you're all set, cause you know me. I'm gonna drink his beer. Yeah, I think the first bag is- This is where I'm gonna sleep. sleep. Yep. All yours. Yeah, it's right here. But I'm not gonna pick them up. I'm not gonna pick up any of those. You're not baiting me on Twitch today, Twitch. But at some point, I will play through this game and kill the magazines again. I have the achievement on the original game. So you thought about what you're gonna do now? You said you were gonna introduce me to that guy Giuseppe. No, no, no. I meant, you know, the big picture. When you was over there, didn't you think about what you was gonna do when you got back? Hey, uh... You think I could, uh... What? Drive, Vito? The roads are icy. You ain't never drove a car before. Joe, I was driving almost the whole time I was over there. Yeah, but this ain't no tank, Vito. This is one of the nicest cars money can buy. I didn't drive a tank. I drove a Jeep. What the hell's a Jeep? It's, uh... Never mind. It, you gonna let me drive a while? All right, all right. Here's the keys. Just be fucking careful. All right, when it's cold as fuck outside, you gotta give it a little more gas than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Oh yeah, first drive card. Yeah, I wanna destroy this guy's car. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, 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 slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. What's the cruise control button, Joe? No, there's no one. Oh, it's A. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime, how the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? You know you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice, that's a 42 Jefferson. Beautiful car like that, it'd be a shame to smash the window. You should grab yourself some lockpicks over at Giuseppe's. Oh yeah, Robin's cool. 
Welcome to Giuseppe's General Store, a thief's paradise. You name it, he's... Hey, Giuseppe, I brought Hello, you a Joe. new customer. He's uh, straight up, right? Yes, sir, all the way. This here's Vito, my oldest friend. This is Giuseppe, the best safe cracker in Empire Retire, Bay. please. How are you? The papers for you? Yeah, they are. You got them finished already? It was a pain in the ass, but sure, they're done. Well, thanks. Is this really gonna work? Nobody from the army would bother you again, trust me. You see? What I tell you, here's the money. Take your papers, Vito. Uh, we need a set of lockpicks, too. That we do. And guess who's paying for them? Why is there a comma in the, instead of a dot? Grazie. Well, you can test it right now. Here, take this lock. You just need to insert the pick into the lock and lift all the pins. You use the wrench to hold the pins one by one. When all of the pins are set, just turn the wrench and the lock shall be easy. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't realize there was a, a tracker on the side. See you around, Giuseppe. Say Benedict. Easy, huh? Don't worry, you'll get the hang of it. I do it all the time when I lock my keys in the car. Okay, you still feel like staying in that car? You kidding me? Absolutely. Well, here's your chance. What if I just smash Well, thank you for following. An ace with a taste. Thank you. Did the follow sound play like 14 times or did it play? Possible stolen vehicle. Step on it. Copy that. Vehicle theft in progress. In the suit of suspect. Lose him. Quick. Roger that. All right. Looks like we lost it. So how do you like the car? Not too bad. I think I'll keep it. All right, let's go find ourselves a body shop. They provide the kind of services we're looking for. Hey, that don't sound cheap. Don't worry about it. I got it covered. Just find any body shop. I know the guy who runs it. <sighs> here, park right here in front of the garage door. Afternoon. All right, guys. What's my license plate say? What can I do you for, pal? No license plate. <laughs> for you, no problem. Set of wheels. Take your pick, pal. I'm Del Harris. The sky was raining devastation on the Nazi headquarters and surrounding buildings in Berlin. We can paint it any color you like. Take your pick. Just 
The German capital is expected to fall into Allied hands within the coming weeks. For Press Radio News, I'm oh, Lowell Harris. Oh, yeah. Bring it by any time. All right, next you should introduce yourself to Mike Bruski. He'll probably have some work for you. All right, where is he? He owns a junkyard over in Riverside. You can't miss him. Hey, who's that guy back there? What guy? The guy at the body shop. Oh, Tommy. He's my buddy's nephew. He's kind of quiet, but let me tell you, the kid's some hell of a dancer. Saw him at the old dance hall in Easter Bay a couple of weeks ago. He had all the broads going nuts. Do I detect a hint of uh, jealousy? Are you kidding? I don't need no dance moves. I got charm, my friend. Here, I'll give you some of my lines, so maybe you won't have to spend so many nights with Rosie Palm and her five sisters. Hey, here's one. Hey, is that a mirror in your pocket? Because I can see myself in your pants. <laughs> Now here, I got another one. If I could rearrange the alphabet, I'd put you and I together. Oh, oh, come on. Yeah, even like... Oh, this one never fails. Hey, baby, that's a nice outfit. It'll look good crumpled up at the foot of my bed in the morning. And this works for you. Oh, hey, here's a good one. Hey, do you know the difference between sex and conversation? No? You want to go back to my place and talk? You got problems, you don't know How about this one? Why don't we go back to my place and play house? You be the door and I'll slam you. Oh, that was bad. Hey, when you measure seven soft, you don't have to be good with words. You get my drift? Look who's hey, here. Hey, Mikey boy, what's going on? Shit, Mike, you can wash your fucking hands once in a while. Now I need a fucking bed. Hey, I've been working. Working people occasionally get dirty, you know. Besides, I just wiped them off. With what? The same fucking rag you used to clean the toilet, you filthy fuck? Put a lid on it. What, what are you, from the health department, or you want to do some business? <laughs> business, of course. This here's my friend Vito. Vito, this is Mike Bruski. But don't shake his hand. I ain't got that much soap at home. Nice to meet you, Vito. Uh, me and Vito go way back. He just come back from overseas and he needs some cash. So I figure he can help with your, uh, supply problem. I can vouch for him. Uh-huh. Okay. Joe told you about our side business, right? Yeah. I only want regular cars, nothing fancy. You get a cut of every car. I take as many as I can handle. And don't bring no cops around, okay? They follow you here. I don't know your ass from Jesus. You get me? Got it. God damn it, Mike! You put your grubby mitts on my fucking coat. I paid a fortune for this thing. All right, calm down or I'll stick them up your ass, you sissy. You know, dry cleaning costs these days. Christ. And who knows if they can even get this filled out. You shut up. Vito, listen to me. I need a Walter Coop today. I got a few people looking for parts, but I can't find a car. Because you don't know where to look. Every time I drive down Hunters, I see one parked by a bar there. I think the place is called the Lone Star. Isn't that a move in your neighborhood? I'll stick out like a sore thumb. All right, look, I'll give you 350 bucks for it. It's worth the risk, right? 400. <laughs> All right, deal. Uh, Vito, come on, let's go on. Diamo. Meantime, I'll be sending you the cleaning bill for my coat. Yeah, I'll change my address, you rat prick. Okay, listen up. This is your maiden voyage, so to speak. So try not to fuck it up, man. Eh? Here, Vito, take this, just in case. Hey, nice. Hey, Mike, you mind if I test this thing out here? Sure. Knock yourself out. Here you go. Aim for that old wreck over there. hit the gas tank. Hey, I need some more ammo. Of course you do. Here you go. Where's the gas tank? Is that? Is that the gunshot? Ah, shit. Did I 
leave gas in that thing? There's a Polak joke there, but I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Fuck you. All right, that's enough shooting. We got work to do. the way we came in and get on the main highway going west. Don't go back through the city. Go right up here. So how's it feel to be back? Good. I feel a lot better with some money in my pocket. Hey, what's the rush? Money don't buy you happiness, you know. Get the fuck out of here. I was just fucking with you. Don't worry about the money. This little job is just the beginning. Pretty soon you'll be rolling in it. So, Sand Island's still the same shithole it was when I left? No, no, the place actually ain't too bad now. Oh, shit. How the hell that happened? All the movies flew south for the winter. Of course it's still a shithole, Vito. You've only been gone a couple of years. Gonna take a lot longer than that for that neighborhood to turn around. Them people multiply like rabbits. What are you gonna do? It's even worse than when we was kids. They even got some kind of gang there now. What's their fucking name? Uh, the Beamers, the Boomers, something like that. I don't fucking know. Oh, that's just fucking great. Hey, what are you worried about? They're animals. All they do is sell dope and kill each other. They ain't gonna bother a guy like you. And even if they do, that's why I gave you that pistol. Well, by the way, you carrying a gun now? What's the deal with that? Can't do business without it these days, especially in this fucking neighborhood. You, uh, really know how to inspire confidence, you know that? Ah, I forgot how nice this neighborhood was. You know something? One of these days, I'm gonna buy a house here. Look at this guy. Ain't even back a day and he's too good for his old neighbor. Hey, what are you breaking my balls for? I'm just window shopping. It'll be years before I can afford this place like <laughs> You got champagne tastes and beer pockets, my friend. <laughs> In pursuit of a hit and run driver. Roger that. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. 10 4. Shut the car off and get out of there. You're gonna kill somebody you keep driving that way. I'm gonna find you. Sorry, officer. I'm broke. Cream-colored baby over there. Be careful. Do it quick and get the fuck out of there. Break a window if you have to and go. I'll wait for you back at Mike's. What if I run into problems? Then you deal with them. Look, consider this a test. If you fail, I hear the hiring down at the factory. Right. Just asking. Good luck, pal. I see you back at Mike's. He does my favorite character in Mafia 2. Yeah. Over there. Ah, shit. I'm just chilling, bro. What the heck? Ah! Ah!
Mission accomplished. How'd it go? Yeah, piece of cake. Except for the fact that the car belonged to a bunch of moolies who immediately tried to kill me right after you left. Eh, uh, probably the bombers. Hunters their neighborhood. Guys like that, you don't have to worry about them. They just hang out on the street, talk shit, steal shit, and smoke dope. <sighs> Let's see what we got here. Mmm, nice. No stains. Clean. Where the lowlife get the money for this. Probably stole it himself. It's nice, though. How much did I say I'd give you for it again? Six hundred. <laughs> oh, I like you, buddy, Joe. Here's your four hundred bucks. Stop by again, okay? We can do some more business. Yeah, you bet, Mike. I see you, Mike. I'll stop by again real soon. All right, too. boys. See you later. Here's your three hundred bananas. I'm taking my cut as the middleman. Next time, you're on your own. All right. Thanks, Joe. All right, let's go home. I'm exhausted. Take the highway, Vito. In pursuit of a hit and run driver. 10 4. All right, you pulled off that job without fucking it up. Nice going. Yeah, but I almost got my ass kicked. Didn't live through the war just to die in Sand Island. Hey, that's all part of the deal, pal. Take it or leave it. Besides, it ain't like you're qualified for anything else. I guess you're right. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna be a piece of cake. story with Ruski. Mike's a good guy to know. He's a little grouchy, but he's always got a scam going. He deals with stolen cars mostly. Spent some time inside a while back. I heard he used to stick up gas stations back yeah, in the day. You gonna make him pay the cleaning bill for your jacket? Nah, I'll let that one slide. I do a lot of business with the guy. Plus, he's got one hell of a temper. One time he was at the track and some mitt spilled a beer on his wind ticket. Mike beat the shit out of him till he went blind in one eye. <laughs> Sounds like kind of a scumbag. Hey, you just got an out of hand for these people. And Mike's a pussycat compared to some of the guys I met since you shipped out. 
You'll see. Hey, is there a safe place to park around here? I don't want to leave this thing out in the street. Yeah, that's why you're parking your car next to mine in the garage. The streets are full of criminals these days. Yeah, the neighborhood ain't what it used to be, huh? DLC cars, so you'll I'll probably never use that car again. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If you're hungry, there's some food in the refrigerator. The refrigerator. You're hungry, Vito? Take whatever you want from the fridge. You a Sammy. Honey, two Sammy. And I'm going to drink a cold beer. Oh, yeah. I have to sleep on the couch. Is this my couch? Oh, I can turn off the light? Oh, yeah. I want that light sliding on me while I sleep. Joe's pleasure, pal. It's Vito speaking. Vito, why didn't you come home last night? I was worried sick. Mama? I didn't know you had Joe's number. And whose phone is this? So have you spoken to Mr. Papalardo? Find yourself a job? Yeah, he told me to come by and see him today. Hopefully he's got some work for me. Okay, Vito. Good luck, mio bambino. All right, bye, Mama. I'm waiting just so I can buy a suit. I'm gonna wear the combat jacket because I think it'll look weird on him. Yeah, it does. That's why I'm gonna wear it. Oh! Uh, uh, hi there. What's the matter? Nothing good on the radio? Oh, it's me, Lincoln Clay. You don't turn that crap down! I'm gonna call the cops! Good to Weird wearing this this coat shit does not fit in here. Oh yeah, they oh, they give me a DLC car. Oh, it's Lincoln's car from Mafia Mafia 3. Okay, that makes sense. So I gotta go down there. I have 300 bucks. Where do I stop there first? Is it is it a waste of Yeah, 
pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that. I was on my way to the clothing store. Too excited. Normal? What's the simulation feel like? Oh god, okay, let's go back to let's go back to normal. I think you'll find the quality is well worth the price. Will that be all? Oh yeah. Totally worth it. Come back. I won't come back. I got my suit. list real quick, see if there's anything I miss. Okay, there's a lot of stuff I could miss. Oh, yeah. 
Help! Out of the door, it's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papolato. Oh, yeah? Why? My name's Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. So you need a job, huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. Uh, follow me. Um, um, I don't think I can really turn my mic up very much without it starting to clip. Let me, let me check. There we go, how's that? Is that better? I turned up the mic's volume. How's that, bud? Oh, there's a magazine I could have picked up. I want to pick that up. Is, are you hearing any static from my mic at all? This pile of crates under that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Get ten bucks for like all these crates, huh? Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. You're not supposed to have a suit here. You're supposed to have like the leather jacket which fits in way more with these guys than this suit does. I feel like it's important for me to buy a suit though. Yeah, I've had it. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the 10 bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait. You said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. What's funny? The suit thing, or that I just left? What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Said he works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. One of little crates if he works with Joe. You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She doesn't want you hanging around with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss, I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, you gotta understand, a person in my position's gotta be careful. 
Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. I see. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking in this Sierra and meeting new people. Easy fucking money, eh? What do you say? Yeah, hey, it's, it's better, better than lugging crates, crates around. around. All right, then. Get going. Gotta go collect the barber fee. <clears throat> I'm here to collect the fee for the barber. Hey, what kind of game you playing here? The kind where you pay what you owe and you don't get hurt. You got a problem with that? I got a problem with you. Now get out of here before I kick your ass. Yeah! Your fucking money. Yeah, yeah glad, glad you decided, decided to reconsider. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Uh, yeah. I must have forgot or something. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Okay, okay, here. Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Sure, here it is. I don't want no problems. Don't leave it until the last minute next time. This guy's gonna be like, I don't even have air. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try, then, asshole? Oh, this guy's this guy's the big guy. Okay. Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Checks clapped. You mean sheets clapped? Yeah, you spelled clapped wrong. Checks clapped. <laughs> exactly like that. Here's the money, boss man. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Steve damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? 
Right, Derek. He's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. Say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Shut up, I don't have spells. I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. Oh, we're going to Freddy's. Oh, can we get Freddy's hype in the chat? Oh, my car, they left it perfectly where it was. Yeah, Freddy's hype. Howdy, fell. What do you got? Guns? Cool. See you later. Do you think I can rob the store? Yeah, I probably should. I did not hit you. Chill out. Watch you mouth. What did I say? I'm like, car, yeah. Dude, I'm the trendsetter. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? Remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Yeah, he's coming. Don't, Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hi, Joe. Is this the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. I want the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get him? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? Why? Too much for you. No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around there somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? 
Ask you yourself. I named Maria and Yellow. Here's the address. Tell her I say it. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got me. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back here and we'll settle up. All right, I'll see you. Good luck, Vito. All right, there's an achievement for doing this without raising alarms. I guess I can do that. If I can try. Hopefully, they left my car where it was. So long, buddy. Oh, yeah, they did. Sorry if it was holding up traffic. Hello. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Rights Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Aww. Let me in your house. How do I get out of here? Oh, is this it? No. Why am I lost? Wait, is this her? I thought this was her house. I guess that's it. Come on, get in my pit mobile. Okay, let's go. And take it easy behind the wheel, all right? I seen the way you kids drive these days. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Me at the hospital right here. The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. <laughs> Take it easy on the wheel. I'm driving on the side of my car. <laughs> yeah, but as long as I'm going the speed limit, it's fine, right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna pull off a heist. Let's do it. No alarms, nobody dies. Can I, I can retry mission. I wonder if that starts me from like the very beginning. So I really want to get the achievement for stealth in this. Oh, I gotta watch a cutscene just to climb over a fence, huh? <laughs> That's fine. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh, 
Jason. This is just like it. Look, I'm even hiding their bodies. Why did you push me off the fence? Other man. Ah, uh, fence wiggle go burr, burr. <laughs> You're always up with the trendy, trendy memes, aren't you? Like the new stuff. I can't tell if this guy's down there or up here. Okay, he's down there. Okay. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Hey, right there. All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. There's like a security system on him. I don't want him to like go. Wah, 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 wah. Just, I just want to see if there's like a security office or something. Because if this trips the alarm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cry. Because I really want to do this mission. No alarms triggered. If it does, if it does, I am rest restarting the mission. Starts me at the director's office. Oh, I got the keys. Okay. Okay. Now we know there's a security system I gotta turn on. What's this?
<laughs> Sorry, I keep looking at the fence thing. Haha, <laughs> alarm go burper. <laughs> Jesus. I'm, I'm glad you made it to the stream. Men only? Why is there only men bathrooms in here? It's offensive. Acting chief. Like, there's got to be an alarm button. Go back to the men room. I'm in the men room. All right, I'm leaving the men room. Go back to the men room. Why are the things so far down? The urinal? That's how they, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Dude, Matt, you're like peeing on it. It's like getting on your shoes. Saggy balls. <laughs> That's it exactly, my man. So where do you think the alarm would be? Probably not in the men room. Here exam would be in there. Maybe it's downstairs. Maybe I have to go downstairs. not down here. I just legit killed this guy for no reason. <sighs> Interesting. There's gotta be like an alarm room or something. Women room. Oh, 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 oh. Archive. Dude, I'm just looking for that alarm button. it up. Because I cannot find it. Hmm.
All right. I feel like I just got trolled. Did you see that? Disable the safe alarm. <laughs> Freddy, Freddy going click clack while sneaky music plays. You talking about my shoes? <laughs> yeah, these aren't very stealthy shoes. For an achievement. <laughs> Freddy comes downstairs. I feel like I'm in a different country. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I gotta start writing these down. Saving my, my Twitch chat. Get out of here. Stealthy. Nobody even saw us. Nice. I got 10 gamer score for that. Ah oh, man. No witnesses. Just kidding. sick tunes in this game. I like it. I'm a big fan of the music in this game. This and Mafia 3 has some of the best music in video games. I love that old school music. Mom, how'd you make out? He's cake. You're in for a shock in the morning. That's good. I see Joe knows how to pick his friends. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date, and that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait, if you can get them to the gas station attendants by midnight, they'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. You don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. And I get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. Yo, that's real. That guy really had Ting with the chair. Oh, that's right, this is a timed mission. Oh, and there's an achievement for getting all of them before the time limit's done. And I don't have a nice. And my car's all beat up and garbage. Oh, god dang it. This is gonna be a long one. Bye. 
Hey, uh... Out. Okay, how are we gonna maximize our power? Just do that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, okay. Interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. Stop buying it, gas. Get out of there! No! Time. Interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. these two For some surplus gas stamps. Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, on second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dog. Yeah, all right. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut. Send me a visit three more stations. Oh, 
farther you get in the game, the nicer cars you can get. So right now we're in like the old, old school stuff. But after a while you start getting into like the closer to like the 50s stuff. This game goes throughout a long time. I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. All right, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, all right? Good thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. Stop to buy gas. No, I'm not gonna stop and buy gas. Stop asking. My car runs out of gas now. Maxing out at 40 miles an hour. I don't even have the speed limit on. This car is so slow. I miss my other car. I like crashed in 45 seconds. Alright, and then I just need one more. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. Interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. One minute till midnight? Oh my god. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. All right, that's the last Oh my god, we sold them all. At least I got some cash. You should head back to Joe's. Oh my god. Oh my god, I did it. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have a heart attack. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, the, the stuff in the windows, the black windows. Is that what you're talking about? I noticed that too. I was like, where am I supposed to park? And then they faded into the existence. I was like, what? This game is really well optimized. It, it's, it looks really dumb. So 
maxing out at 40 miles an hour right now. And I have the trigger down max. These are not speed machines. I said the cops will probably go after the speed of this car. bad it looks i think better on stream than it looks on the tv honestly um i'm gonna put up i'm gonna try putting up this slide real quick that i made just to see if it works and uh try figuring out if i can do this so um i'm gonna put up i'm gonna try putting up this slide real quick that. that i made just to see if it works and uh try figuring out if i can do this so um i'm gonna put up i'm gonna try putting up this slide real quick that. that i made just to see if it works and uh try figuring and then I click. So, like, um, I'm gonna put up. I'm gonna try putting up this slide real quick that, that I made.
All right. Stream is back. Welcome back to the stream. Just making sure it's working. Yep. Welcome back to the stream. Just making sure it's working. All right. Okay, something weird going on there. All right, now I'm back. Got me some water. Oh, okay. Welcome back, bud. I got me a glass of water and some refills, so I'm good for a bit. I'm sure I'll have another break tonight, because I'm going to see how long I can go. So far, I've been two hours in. I don't know how long I'll play. Could be anywhere from ten more minutes to six more hours. It's not going to be six more hours. Three will probably be the latest I'll stay up till, if I keep playing. Which means I got, like... Four hours or so, but I don't know. You'll once the video's up, people will see how long it is. I'm gonna eat my Sammy. Classic ham and cheese. Oh, I'm gonna drink a cold this time. No beer for me. That's probably what I'll do. It's been two hours, and I was like, yeah, I'll take a break. I think this is my favorite chapter in the game, if I'm remembering this right. Audio good for you, bud? Jeez. Uh, <sighs> Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Oh, I have to put on clothes. Lame. I'll put on my suit. Is this my suit? I don't remember it being blue. Okay, it is. Oh. I don't know if this is my favorite mission, but I think this is the mission where I'm like, oh yeah, this is good stuff. I'll know it right when it pops up. Oh, I can repair it right in my garage. It's, it's a very similar game. It doesn't seem like they really remastered a lot of it. They just kind of updated the graphics a little bit and broke the audio in the headphones. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know if it has the DLC or not. <laughs> hey, look who's here. <laughs> Where the hell you been? Playing around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. 
yourself. Berto hears about this. The shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, heard <laughs> you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high-risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we talked about we'll yesterday? See in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! I want that massage. Here. Do it. Now. Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying that fast enough. We're gonna collect his payment tonight. In jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why is everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light. Look, bulb. don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixing something. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Just kidding. I think it's the next chapter. That's my favorite chapter. I pranked you. So how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Derek? Yeah, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I work some guys over. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard up dock workers just like he did my old man. Well, you didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining in and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wharf rats. What the fuck are you doing? What's up your ass today? <laughs> My car can go wherever I want with it. Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. Hey, take it easy. I'm in a hurry. The cop, the cop just saw me drive past him at 100 miles no, an hour. Like my fucking grandma, you know that? <laughs> and he didn't even do anything. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here oh, for fuck you. Fuck off, Batso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you'd better yeah, hand yeah, over everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. I said I would have set it on fire. This is car 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my get the ass. fuck out of here. This is a cool one, though. This is a cool mission. We gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what am I in the cops? Come on, let's get out of here! I'm trying! Shit, cops! While I open this door, keep those assholes off my back. Oh, you want me to actually shoot? Almost got it. Hold them off, just a little long. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Feet up, come on.
Freeze! Police! Go back! There's no way you gotta out! find another way out! No, it doesn't. Shit, another dead end. It's not like the GTA 5 aiming at all. You actually have to aim. We gotta go this way. It's our only shot. All right, let's go, Joe. Come on, so you don't move your ass. What are you fucking crazy? It's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. Freeze. We have no choice. I ain't going to the joint. It has a Super Smash Bros. Brawl slipping mechanic, though. Did you see that? Over here, you waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there, shoot! Jesus, be careful! Almost lost it. There. Yeah, I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh fuck that! I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> Me too, man. This way. This should take us to the street. Oh, wrong way. I think there's a hidden magazine up here, but whatever. I'm not going for those this game. Oh, Vivito, we can't sit out here forever. Shit, cops! Freeze! Police! There's no way out! That guy's got a shotgun. <laughs> Shot in the crotch. I get an F and chat for that guy that got shot in the crotch. Almost got it. Hold him off just a little longer. Okay, got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Henry's never gonna believe this. this stupid bastards. Let's go. It, it, it kind of was. I shot him in the balls and he died. So, even though I shot him two more times before that. Fuck off, copper. Look at the Irish, my ears. Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill, crazy big bastard. Not too bright. Usually works his hired muscle. Yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go. Come on, come on. Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. Sorry. So what I got to do is go to a clothing store. <laughs> oh my god. I was trying to stealth kill. Oh no. That might have been the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, a wanted poster. I 
There's like 200 of those in this game. That's not a good place to be. See, I don't really care about the wanted post. Uh, the wanted posters, I should. I might try a thousand, cheat, a thousand pointing this game. Now the real question is, can you actually stealth kill cops? No, you can't. There's no option. And there's a cop car coming. Oh my god, that scared me. I'm definitely not a criminal. I look like I'm already wearing a prison jumpsuit, don't I? All units, code green, back to the station. There's two cops here. And they're both just being pieces of crap. I gotta get to that clothing store. Starting to sweat. Oh my god. He almost saw me. Hello, Hello. somebody close. How can I help you today? Well, I guess I'm gonna buy another suit. Will that be all? This one's slick. I like this one. Uh, yes. Hello. I am a good guy. Not a robber at all. Hello, officer. Good morning. Stealthy, wasn't it? See that? Can keep this car, it's not mine. I'm gonna blast somebody. I should just blast somebody real quick.
You enjoying the live stream so far? Sammy. There we go. This is my favorite chapter. Hey there, handsome. Uh, hi there. Joe ain't here right now. He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's. I see. Too bad you passed out when I came in. We could have partied. Hmm. Maybe next time, doll. Bye. Uh oh. Huh. That was something. So you don't hear any static from my mic right now? No, it should not have been for FNAF. FNAF ain't allowed. Let's go with my new suit. Joe's girl over there. Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Look at his car. Hey, pal, knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word. And you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. They always end up punching me first. Just shatters her. Oh. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but uh, look, I, I, I really got to get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. I like pie. She gave me 50 bucks. Prove you're a gentleman. I mean, this pie is more money than I want some pie. Is this my favorite chapter? I thought it was. Hello, officer. Alright, good start. Watch my car. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And I read up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if you are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... 
What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just because someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the Krauts, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. Asking. You handle this next job like you handled the last one. And there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me, the benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's what Henry's you said the last time. Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. So... We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job are we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Go I, luck, pal. I lied, by the way. It's next chapter. That's my favorite. Uh, I was trying to get a gun, uh, cam one a gun for MW, and I just got level 100. Sweet, dude. Okay, take care. <laughs> a level 100 on the gun? That's wild. I got a diamond cam on the shotguns in Modern Warfare, the new one. Oh, so that guy just said I have to give him five grand to be in his family. That's messed up. I should just be accepted into it. It's awesome. Platinum, yeah. All the guns then? Is that what you have to do? Or is that something else? What's platinum? Oh, the... You're talking about like the Damascus stuff, right? Is that what it's called? It's like that crazy stuff. You have to get like diamond on every single gun or whatever. Is that what you're talking about, bud? The one where you have to get diamond on every single gun?
Yeah, what's up? Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. Come on in. Is Obsidian like a secret one or is it a new one? Because I don't remember that one. That must be a new camo. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah. You got his merchandise. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, well. Sounds crazy. Here it is. MG42. Made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we called her. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber, 1,200 rounds per minute, fastest in the world. 250 round belt, three quarters of a mile effective range, and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey, you need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and a DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic, man. <laughs> Crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. Oh, <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, guy, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. Good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. Do you need obsidian the guns in to the get crate. diamond? And there's a couple uh, thousand yeah. rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Vito, I'll see you soon. Tree Branch has eye kill streak of one. <laughs> Are you playing Call of Duty while watching this? I that's what I do. I usually play video games while watching live streams. Shout out to that tree branch. He's got the kill streak of one. The eye kill streak. Try the van safely. Oh, it's an extra camo? Okay. I was like, man, that one does not sound fun to cap if you need that on diamond. Every weapon class, does that mean the shotguns are all grouped together as one? 25 out of 200? Dude, that'd be crazy. It doesn't sound like it'd be fun at all. Yeah, I haven't played Modern Warfare in a while. I should probably again. Yeah, dude, that's, that sounds crazy. 15 kills with one weapon, 200 times. That sounds like it take forever to do.
Oh, you can only get one per game? What? That means you have to play at least 200 games. Dude, I think I've only played like 80 games total. That's so dumb. What do you have it on, bud? Hey, you can say that thing with the machine gun again. No, that's not what I meant. I meant what console are you playing the game on, or are you playing on PC? You gonna say that machine gun quote you said at the beginning of the the recording? Where you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, we buy your tickets. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming. Those black cars. Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on. They got All guns. right, showtime. They got guns up there in that window. That's him, Vito. Waste that platform. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm all set over here. Brad. That was sweet. Good kill, Joe. Back me up, Vito. Oh. Fuck. Stop fucking moving. You're fucking dead. Now we gotta go for her. Oh, God, I didn't know you were still alive. That's the end of the game. Credits roll. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Tim Vito. How'd you go deaf all the way over here? Alright, right, I take cover this time. These guys got guns. I gotta okay, pick up their ammo. You first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go. We'll cover you. I got this, boys. <clears throat> I just took damage from that car. We're coming for you, Porky. <gasps> Going in. We want to get on your bad side. I'm back. You shoot like my sister. You're good. Oh, 
Up around the corner, I dare you. Okay. I'll see you later, bud. I'll probably still be here. Vito. The shotgun's good. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Oh, yeah, Tommy gun. Come on, Porky's upstairs. really shoot blindly and I can't. <laughs> Don't kill me. Please. I got a wife. You should have thought about your wife I, I, before. I'm doing it in your wife. You should kill me. Oh, my Christ. <laughs> Don Clemente sends his regards. Okay, he shot me in the fucking leg. God. Oh yeah, bleeding all Son over the place. Son of a. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor. Okay, okay. You idiot. Gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, come on, Maron. You're heavier than you look. The fat fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Careful. No, it fucking hurts. Please. Yeah, we I don't want to walk if you don't quit your moaning. Oh, fuck. Leave that to you. This whole fucking place is coming apart. Go, go, go. I'm playing with the big boys now, kid. Fire 
Oh, hey, welcome back. You missed me shooting a guy with a machine gun. That's about it. You're only AFK for like five minutes. Ah, oh, fuck. And one of my guys got shot by the guy that we were killing. And really if take I don't make it, hey, hey, don't go saying that, pal. It's just a scratch. Doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. <laughs> no, really. That's the good Shh, stuff. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah. I love his puns. The guy in the movie. He died. Nah. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. In pursuit of armed suspect, we're taking him down. Copy that. How do they know that this car is wired by the police? He raps sometimes? What? I'm missing out. Vito, come on. Can't this thing go any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? <laughs> Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Yeah. Joe, stop comforting the guy. Start shooting. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking him to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't oh. you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. Oh. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Oh, God. Hey, Vito, step on it. Henry sweat like a whore in church back here. Don't make me drive faster. You start as it. Hey, Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. I like how it said if I crash, he'll take damage. And I just, like, flipped the entire car and slammed it in the wall. And he took, like, no damage at all. Oh, no. There's a cop right uh, there. Come on, Vito. At this rate, we get there fast if we walk. You're back at it again with the sideways car. You know it, dog. There's like 50 police cars on this hill. There's one in front of me, one down there, one up there. Oh, Jesus. Freedom. Hey, step on it or Henry's done for. If he dies, you're burying him. If he dies, you're burying him. You are Greco the doctor? No, I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, hand it. you. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait, I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know, this could have waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah, me too. I'll stay here with him. He got shot you in the leg. Place. He'll live. All right. Visit your sister. Oh, you gave me two thousand dollars. Oh, this car's wanted. I'm not taking this car. <clears throat> you just hit me with your car, lady. Get out of the car. Oh God, please no! Thanks for the sick <clears throat> ride, lady. Are you kidding me? I just got T-boned. 
Oh, we're coming up on my favorite chapter. Are you hyped? Three hours in. Yeah, Freddy hype. Don't worry, when I get my own, uh, when I have a thousand followers, I'll, when I become a Twitch member, I'll like, uh, I'll make it so you can be like, Get the emote will be Freddy Hype. It'll be just a picture of your face zoomed in really closely. What'd you just say? What am I supposed to? You can eat it. All right, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't do that. Gotta lose the tail first. Gangsters are after me. I have to get rid of them. I'm not part of this. The police are coming. Oh, the police are arresting them. happen oh they killed him the police just killed that guy I will shoot you <laughs> oh my god That was some police brutality. <laughs> the cop has GTA 5 aimbot. Oh, hey, officer. I didn't see anything. <laughs> he just... He just <laughs> Dude just executed a guy. He just stood up and he executed him. <laughs> I'm just like... And there's two of them, too. They're like... <laughs> Peter, yeah. hey, how you doing? No, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. That was emotional. Yeah, he just walked away and didn't even act like he just shot a man in front of, his, of some random apartments. Look at these dead bodies are just laying out here. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's funny. Oh, the cops are coming after somebody now. There's just a dead guy. Oh, that's the guy I killed. Where's my car? Oh. Yeah, he just walked away. Dude, we're so close to my favorite mission. Going to sleep takes you to the next chapter. All right, let's go to the next chapter. Those police just shot him. 
Like, they didn't program them to actually be able to be arrested, so they just killed them. That's so funny. At least I know the police are efficient. All right. Let's do this. So there's no static at all on my mic. Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. New headline, man kills other man while spraying Tommy gun Henry was able to get me a lawyer courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew about any of my other activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta. For your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal penitentiary. Ah, uh, my favorite chapter. Murderers, child molesters, they were all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Did you say siren head? Dude, I'm not even arrested for like killing all those people. You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? Oh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get back in line. No. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. I like first person camera in this game. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. 
Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. He's got a Hitler mustache. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. New artwork unlocked. Check the main menu. Freak boy. Sweet. You ain't gonna do what you told. We're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. My new home. Lights out and be quiet, assholes. You know what's good for you. This was going to be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. Three days later. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Talk to everybody, but I know where Leo Gahante was. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was in a barber in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Great, another fight scene. This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Diego. Oh, he just said something racist. Come on, you little tough. This is gonna be easier than the time you shoved the potato up your mother's ass. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you eat faggots for breakfast? Second person in uh, d uh, Twitch chat. Hello, second person. In so O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. 
Let me tell you something. When you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. He did do the punch. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. It could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. From what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Atta boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. It's good. Ooh, counterattack's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice, kid, nice. nice Give me two more. All right, one more. Yeah, Vito. that had a hurt. Oh, there you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So, how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah. Like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. I love him. Leo Galante, the old guy. He's like my one of my favorite characters in this game. Get to know the guys. Yeah, let's do that. Winston's uh, offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine. I take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Yeah, that's it. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Okay. Yeah, I know. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Come on, give me another hey, Thanks, 20. man. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that, and you'll be ready for a real fight. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neal. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? That would be a dream, wouldn't it? How's old man Galante know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now. Hey, how you doing? He was a prize fighter Name's back in the day. Sam, how you doing? One too. No shit. Yeah, heard he used to fight in Barry. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Well, maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, oh, asshole. Jesus. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. 
That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. Racism. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey, the game takes place in 1940s. Chill out. Did I just beat him in like a single, like in like two seconds? Ah, yeah, this no happen <laughs> if you use tiger style. Would not happen if you use tiger style. <laughs> That's funny. Vito. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Work. You're late for walk. Hey kid, how long are you thinking of hanging about for? Hanging out in stream. Hey listen, Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right, come with me, Vito. Until I stop playing. Uh, I'll have another break in like 40 minutes. And then I'll probably play another two hours after that. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Yeah, I'm up. And then I'll probably start. I'll stream Morning, tomorrow, kid. too, probably. Morning, Mr. Galanti. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. The guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss Sweet. him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. Yeah, I'll All let right, you know when I go. do it tomorrow. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. <laughs> Win or lose, it'll probably be the hottest workout bum ever did in his life. Yeah, that's the way to do it, my boy. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Laying down on a job like wow, always. Wow, he hits hard. Your little cracker going. No, Vito, grab him and finish him. All right, you. Now put his legs. Let's go, Vito. Put these bums back in their place. Yeet. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? That's exactly All right, what it is. Come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hey. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good, thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. <gasps> oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito. There's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. 
He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito. No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. Bye. One week later. God, if it's like a week at a time, this is gonna take ten years. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. The turlets. Everyone in this this game has an accent. I don't even know what accent that is. I don't even know who's a turlets. I gotta go clean the turlets. Where do I go to clean the turlets? Oh, this way. So, you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Hey, pal, you mind? Yo, practice that shit someplace else. I, I'm not gonna Come look man, over there. You're at Jesus, your singing is the second worst thing that happened to me in here. There you go. Make a hey, spark. Pipe down, and hurry now. it up. Alias! Relax, fellas. Oh, yeah, this is the good stuff. Workout. Toilet cleaning simulator 2020. What's the matter? Keep cleaning or else. Appropriate. Like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. I ain't. I ain't cleaning it again. You deaf? Clean that pisser now. All right. Sounds good. That's more like it. Clean it good. Yeah, it probably smells terrible. Honestly. I'm gonna pee on this guy's corpse. There's no fl there's no flush on these. It's just like a hole. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join oh, the rest a, of the animals there is a in the flush. showers. Get moving. Is that a flush? He's an animal. All I right, just like a... Get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Oh, you'd Would like you that, kindly? wouldn't you? Oh yeah, hot shower scene time. Oh look how ripped I am. You just watch me shower for the next 45 minutes in this game. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? Oh, I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna try not have your drop fun, myself. you sick bastards. Your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. Huh? This could have been so much easier. 
Don't knock him out. I want to hear him scream. Oh. Hurry it up, John. We ain't got long. Don't beat up the fat guy. Hey! He was trying whoa, to put whoa. his pee pee in the. What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? I also beat up that muscle guy, though. Just for fun. Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. He's got a Hitler mustache. I swear to God. He's like super Hitlery. He's like a fatter Hitler. Mama died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Oh, rip mama. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. <laughs> Literally. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! Oh. Again, hard. Ah. Nice shot, me. Me ma used to hit harder than that. Ah. Had enough. No guards to save you this time. I Is that all you've you, got? Chief. I don't think so. Sounds like a pirate. This guy? I'm not gonna be <sighs> Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! Received a hundred messages today with three strings. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Next thing you know, he'll be saying R. <laughs> well, I don't think he's gonna be saying R now. out just fine they never found out who did it leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell well actually it was more like a suite life he was did. getting better by no, the he's minute. probably fine. so vito what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole i don't know i sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for clemente i can tell you that yeah you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard trust me 
Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. Yeah, the guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. Falcon punch? When did I do a falcon punch? Imagine if Vito's like, hand just turned like on fire and he went, Falcon punch and punched the guy into the wall. That would have been wild. Uh, okay. That's that's weird. That was a weird uh, thing to tell me. Chapter 7. In loving memory of Francesco Patalenza. Empire Bay, April 10th, 1951. So it's been six years since I got, went to prison. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. All right. We're back at it. It's really nice. When it's all bright, not snowy anymore. And I'm sure the driving is going to be way easier. changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise. You're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in here. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight in there. I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry. I'll show you the ropes like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Normal, you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. I'm like an old lady. Yeah, 
I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. The new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Oh, these are the DLC cars, I think. Look at this mobile. Look at this pimp ride. Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up, but now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. I really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about it. It looks like the Batmobile. Well, after the shit, Clemente Dude, and it's that the little asshole Luca tried to pull on us. I got hooked up with the Falcone family, and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise for you. Don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. I think I get all the DLC clothes, too. All right, this is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I Did already I paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, Muscle. the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Check out my new apartment. Heck yeah. This game's lit. It's the top floor. Okay, here we are. Would you say I'm me? I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. Oh, did I? I live in a similar apartment notice. myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And a nudie magazine. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't Maybe squeak. Three. Always a plus in my book. This guy's pants is way too high. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Master beer. I got good beer. That the new trend. I suppose it's the 50s now. Stuff's getting crazy. Where's my wardrobe? Oh, here it is. Why did you put your wardrobe here? What a weird place. Renegade pack. What does this look like? This looks terrible. High school? Oh my god. Why would I ever want to wear these? Of course I'm going to wear my sick suit. Another nudie magazine. Uh, it's only been six. Uh, I feel like if he was like 20, 20 to 26... I don't know how old he is. Or like 25 to 31. There's not really a big difference, you know what I mean? Oh, my pimp ride's out front, isn't it? Oh, they even got new police cars. Yeah, the cars are suddenly like way cool. These are the cool cars. 50s cars are my favorite. These are sweet, sweet cars. Oh, you know what I should do? Treat myself to some little something.
old Corvette? What's going on? Was it was it in good condition or what was it? Old cars are cool. How can I help? Eight license bucks. Plate. <laughs> For you, no problem. a lot. Oh, yeah, that's probably not good. You like my new license plate in this car? Now I got my pit mobile, I got my big PP mobile. So the cars are easier to control when it's not winter. Now all I gotta do is get that other car I've been driving, the, the Samson Drifter. I gotta name that the Lil PP Mobile. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no show. Not bad, nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. And show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I How's am. it going? Man, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. I just lost my this hat. This is my pal, Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine. Yes. Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same like here, Vito. Okay, fellas. I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long? Has we'll left tell him the in the chat car. Room. Can we take my car? It's way better than this. Crap. Pat has joined the All chat right. room. <laughs> Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Alright, this ain't my car. Okay, so Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a camp? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Now, you know, uh, booze, broads. Baseball, everything. You can't forget now baseball. you get closer. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. <clears throat> Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. <laughs> What's more important than pussy and booze? Uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Freddy, this ain't my car. Proceeds to drive the car <laughs> sideways. Like fucking grandma, you know that? Hey, relax, will you? You want every 
cop in the fucking city to come after us? I don't care. This ain't my car. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ooh. So I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh... Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. <laughs> you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All yeah. right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. You're right. And to a bright future together. Touch and I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, uh, you know, uh, astrology. You mean astronomy? Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. You shut your goddamn pie hole. If you wanna oh. use your mind. You fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! If you had to be bad twenty years ago, No, no, I didn't see that. I'm kinda of mad I missed out on it. I'm going home. Good night, you whores. That guy's so traumatized. Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah, next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poos. <laughs> Bro, that guy is blind. <laughs> I know, I've been waiting in this car for like an hour now. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, zeech in the shower, huh? <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, what the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the hell? What the hell is that smell then? Oh, in yeah, pursuit of a speeding cool. vehicle. Must be Frankie Potts. Be what? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, nah, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you win got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? <laughs> Sudden hey, dead whoa, guy whoa, in the trunk. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spent We'll figure something out. The worst to figure. All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got his spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. You got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. 
and the hole is already done. All we need to do is check him in and cover him up. All right, all right, where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. And hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killer. What is that police car doing? Shout out to Frankie Potts, the dead guy in the truck. Too late, <laughs> ah, Christ, Eddie, yeah, that fucking reeks. Oh, hey, it's his car. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, but that smell, it. plus the other smell. The only way it can get worse now is if he craps himself. Can I get a shout out for Frankie Potts in the chat? Potts rip you. <laughs> Shield's completely uh, gone. Rito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? They're not That's sidewalks, That's they just drive walks. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> true, true. God damn it, new shoes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking Christ almighty. How long this guy been in here, Reddy? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, it's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> ah. Boo! Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's the hole. Right here. Dump him in. Standing in the hole. <laughs> Finally done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff for the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any help ah, here. Fine, he... whatever. Hey fellas, how about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time. Dead guy. To this wasn't go. supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but Good it's nice night, out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Yeah, that doesn't look suspicious at all. Oh, Vito, do not change that station location. It's you guys 
kidding me with this? Nope, didn't see anything. Hurry back, hurry, hurry back, hurry oh my back to my love. Hurry back, I am yours. Return to me. me. Oh my oh dear, I should you only. Hurry home, hurry home, hurry home. As if to say, hurry boy, it's waiting there for you. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think I just glitched my car. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Bang bang cargo burber. <laughs> Eddie's car was this right. <laughs> da -da. I hope I don't glitch the car this time. Oh my god, what do you know? As if to say, hurry boy, it's waiting there for you. Alright, you're pulling me over. <laughs> That, that you like that? He got out and I drove away. <laughs> That's how you get away from the police. Man, Eddie's not gonna be happy about his car in the morning.
Uh, yeah, he's gonna wake up and see that the engine's basically destroyed. I just had to fix it. He's gonna be like, what happened? And he'll be like, you crashed it yesterday, remember? He'll be like, oh. -ho -ho. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. Look you had enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. Look at Come on. I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. He's like, dude, you've had enough. I'm going to bed. Chapter 7 is done, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, snap. The wild ones. The mild ones. Is this going to be that SpongeBob reference? What the fuck? Hey, Vito, rise and shine. Who Vito's? Buddy, stop fucking yelling, will you? I've noticed that. My head's killing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down. Jesus Christ. All right, well, we're gonna. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back, man. I'm gonna go get me some water, eat some more pizza. And I'll be back in just a second.
All right, I'm back. Sorry. I took like a nine-minute break. I had to let the dog out. But I'm back. Are you here, bud? I'm just going to assume that you are. Switch back over to my Elgato. All right. I also ate some tasty pizza. All right, let's get back into this. I got a cookie. Dude, that sounds awesome. I really missed out. Can't believe his head clips out of the hat. Who the hell was that? Guy's got a voice like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the yeah, street know, from right? me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. Don't damage the goods. Some night, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Why? You ain't still mad, are you? Nah, burying a stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But, uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure as hell hope so. Yeah, I don't know. For a remaster, it's not really remastered. I think it's a good excuse to play the game again, because I really like the game. But, like, they messed up. So, I'll probably finish this game tomorrow. Let me know when you're able to watch my stream. Because I'll start streaming when you're available, bud. Um, I'll be able to finish this game tomorrow, and then I might start Saints Row. So what's the deal? Simple. Three? Just gotta go to a couple of sure places yet. and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the tape. Piece of cake. Wait a minute. You seem to remember getting thrown in the clink for a piece of cake just like this. Don't worry. I've done this before. First stop, Riverside. Say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later. So I'll get through like over half of this game. Cause I'll probably be playing for another two hours. And I'll probably for sure get through over half of this game. How come that car that I drove maxed out at like 40 miles an hour, but this truck is like 60? Okay, but it doesn't stop at all. stuff to do though in the morning uh, maybe I'll start streaming well, at like now. four or something now we take care of our customers these guys here by us. come with me okay climb up and hand me the goods hi one carton of reds hand me a carton of reds Vito selling cigarettes yeah, illegally that's the one. Yeah, that makes sense. Here. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a cotton of blues. Maybe I'll stream One early cotton in the of morning. Blues, Vito. All right. Hand it over. I'm not sure yet. 
Here it is. Let me get two dollars off this. A few hours later. <laughs> okay. I was like, am I gonna do this for the next forty-five minutes? What the fuck? Hey, Sarge, how you doing? Caught in the blues as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Get that veto. Let's go. Caught in the whites. All right. Hand it over. I don't know. I'll probably just stream midday. Not sure. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious dough here. Ready to? <laughs> In his dreams. Kid's not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me. Drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, the kid's got you for a role model. He's in for a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, wise guy. It reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in the can since I met you. That's what I mean by trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shitting your coffee this morning? It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those someday, would you? Hello, second viewer. Depending on where you are. Oh, YouTube. Hello, first YouTube viewer. Going like butter today. All right, this almost makes up for last night. Almost. Come on, what's better than this? You got fresh air, good company, and you're making a shitload of dough. Not too bad for a guy who just got out of the slash. All right, all right. Listen, the next few hours or anything like the last few hours, all's forgiven. There's <laughs> the veto I know. All right, we'll be there in a second. <laughs> you know, this the YouTube viewer can't see your, your message, right? Give me a cotton of blues. Give me a second, Joe. I was checking my Texas. Bingo. Joe's just like, what? What are you checking? Here it is. Hi, I'll take a box of reds. Cotton of reds, Vito. I wish this was the game. I just do this every day. All right. Hand it over. Here. 
I would make bank. I barely make anything doing helping the other rest of you guys. Ooh, fancy cars. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two uh, bucks a third card, viewer. Bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fuck over ten cartons, and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there, and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf, and it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Joe. Fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, boy? What do I gotta say? That's what I Come on, hop in that car and let's go. <laughs> oh my god, right, he just executed that guy. Let's get one of these guy. fucks and teach him a lesson. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. He just got capped. Yeah, he did. Hello to the other Twitch viewer. I want that guy's car. He's going so fast. Ah, shit. Now what? Shit. We should check in with Eddie. Stop at the nearest phone booth and call him. It's me, Vito. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes, and then these, uh, these greasers came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, hey, listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening, and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay. Crazy Horse. Yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show them that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though. So it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. All right. Sure, Eddie. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. All right, we gotta meet Steve in front of the crazy horse. Good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad news is Eddie wants his money back. All too grand. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got. It's a nice car. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. Let's go. Oh, hello. Oh, Eddie was fucking pissed on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick two thousand dollars worth of shit out. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, uh... right? Even though you're working for Eddie, we all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's not that good. It's not as good as my other cars. I think you get a cooler car during this mission. Hey, Steve. I'm not sure. Hey. Hey, guys. Audie? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, yeah. uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay, why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What did Shut you up, the kid. Day? I'm talking here. So, like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And, well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> That's fucking beautiful! Yeah, he did just pull a tummy out of his pocket. Okay, that's enough. Let's leave him a little present. Vito, Mark, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. My pleasure, Steve. I hate this kid. Yeet. Now we now. go to the foundry. Get in, boys. We'll meet you two at the main gate. See you there. All right, let's get going, Joe. Oh, whoa. Ah, there's nobody else in Twitch chat right now. It doesn't look like it, at least. Yeah, missed out. <laughs> Unless there is somebody. Don't be surprised. Ooh, two? Crazy. How'd you get in here? Follow the fucking yellow brick road. <clears throat> Next. <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! <gasps> Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Thanks, Let them kid. have it! I'm gonna try and flank them. Oh no, the gang members have guns. Let's kill them. Didn't see that coming. That asshole shot me. Uh, I can't get a good shot. Oh, nice shot. Try and get around behind him. <laughs> Man. I'll cover you moving. Get some help over here. Let's go. I'm back. That's the best you got?
Stay sharp, Vito. Going in. Go, gang. Slaughtered me. Holy crap. Way to go, Vito. We got him now. Don't be so gentle, boys. Go round behind. I'm gonna meet your maker, fuckface. Got you covered. You're gonna get it, fuckface. Gotta leave man, some man. for me, asshole. Kill that guy. Kiss your ass, good boy. I didn't realize that the, the bad guys showed up on my map. Let's go, Vito. Hey, bad asshole. Let's go, you crazy fuck. Go, go, go. It's coming. fucking over. I'm out. You know you're here. Sometimes I just stand there. Do you notice that? You scared asshole? See you in hell. I am you, fucking fuck. Over there. Ooh, a magnum? Yes, please. Oh, I got a big gun. What are you scared, <laughs> asshole? Hey, what's going on? Talk to me. You okay? All right. Your ass me, is dog. mine. I think I found my favorite guy. Ooh, a rifle. Dude, Steve, you got in my way. You know who you're fucking with? Would even makes the M1 grand noise. It's a cool detail.
All right. See you later, bud. I'll be here. He just one tapped me. What the heck? Really? I start all the way over here? Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna fill my water. Oh, that's annoying. All right, apparently I'm just gonna drink the beers over here. Run! Hey, I need a little help, you please. We got him now. One veto. Ooh. 
Yeah, you guys go ahead. I ain't getting one tap to count. Let's go. Hurry up and kill him. There he is. That's the guy that one tap. How does it feel? Let's go. Hey, that wasn't half bad. That dude's just shooting Marty right now. All right, dude, dude, you need to chill out, dude. Where are you? Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie will be fine. What are we gonna do, just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody, no more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joey, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two Gs for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the fountain. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the bar.
So? Is the money. Well, that's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cat. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. Here is what we have. One whiskey. Pronto. Here you are, sir. Come back anytime, sir. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Roger that. Uh. Hello? Yeah, Vito, we got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar, and make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. All right, I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday. There goes my Sunday. Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police. Oh, sweet.
Morning, Eddie. Hey, Vito. I'd like to introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me to rot in jail. That's good, because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night. And word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the mm -hmm. Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. This is Luca's car. Now, where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. Yeah, because my car's not noticeable. Ruski's junkyard, maybe. Man, Mike doesn't get involved in shit like this.
slaughterhouse, of course. Looks like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. Sewer. Maybe that's the one. Looks like I can pry this off. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Dog could be a problem. Would you shut up? What, is somebody there? There's nobody there, see? So shut up before I turn you into meatloaf. Lousy mutt. Shit, there they are. Now I got you, you skinny little prick. Time to move. Just having one fucking smoke. Relax. Yo, welcome back. Hey, We're in a slaughterhouse. So, uh, you still thinking about quitting? Don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. I could put him down so easy. But I can't. I'm stealth mode. It ain't easy. Be right there.
I know where you've got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get into these things? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with this, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> It's, it's just a question of whether I'm going to be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> hey, what's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey, hey, somebody's Stop. over there. Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? <sighs> Jesus Christ, what, what, is Captain Shitbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> He's like, ah, okay, leave now. You fuck with the wrong guys, assholes. Get me down, will you? Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Eddie, send you. Yeah, you notice there's a couple of guys shy at roll call. Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? I'm going in, Vito. He's cover back. Cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. What's going on? They dang you? Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? A lot of guys with a lot of guns are on his way over here. Oh, okay. I guess I'm not supposed to hang out outside.
Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Sucker's gonna piss his pants. What's going on? Yeah, they are. And guess who's next? I just got one tap. Dude, the shotguns in this game are overpowered as crap. That's like the eighth time I've been one tap so long. You fuck with the wrong guys, assholes. Get me down, will ya? Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Eddie send you? Stay here and don't come out until Oh, I'm not sure if I said welcome back, but welcome back. Just don't forget about me. Okay, Helen. You're right there. Fuck you. You, you. you missed it. Not bad, kid. Not bad. Come on, Vito. Show them what you got. All right, Vito. Let's get that little fuck. Is gonna piss his pants. Uh, we uh, this guy was like, he betrayed us. It's that mustache yeah, guy from the beginning of the game. And guess who's next? He's, apparently, he's a bad guy, and we're well, that's him in their room right there. And we snuck into the slaughterhouse because the, they're bad guys now. All right, I'm out. And he's a shotgun guy, the last guy. Eat shit, asshole! All right. Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Knock, knock. Come on. Come me in. Could it be able to open it like this? Yeah, we need something heavy, like a like a battering ram. I know. 
We'll use that card. Fancy. Oh, he's been busy. Rick. Thinks he's so fucking smart. Think you're so fucking smart, huh? Go ahead. Try. Son of a bitch. What's he doing over there? Leave me alone. 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 Leave Have a little fun with Luca before I grind him up. Want to join me? Uh, thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass it. So hard, huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you. But you're missing out. I think I'm gonna try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah. Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm gonna go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Lady he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Bees, open the door. It's all over. You? You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you wanna give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea. You know, that's not such a bad idea. <laughs> Of course, I shot the tires out on this car because I thought there was going to be a car chase. Oh, we sold the greasers' cars. Those hot rods. And I have a bunch of those hot rods in my car. I just died in a car crash. I flipped that car earlier, like did 40 barrel rolls and I was fine. But the moment I crashed that car, I'm dead. Swear to God, I better start me. Okay.
He's going, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh Jesus Christ, was that you? Vito? Oh Jesus, why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, 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 what happened with Luca? It's done. All right, how about our guys? You find them? Yeah, Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead, but balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh, interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so of whoa, Luca's whoa. bodyguards. Back, back, to nobody. back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. Dude, I better not have to burn this suit. This is my favorite suit. Oh, he just gave me $5,000. You smell. Change your clothes. Why is there two different markers for that? Is that my house? And that's... What is that? These are expensive suits. Oh, yeah. I feel like a gangster now. You're in my way. Maybe I should buy all the suits. Are you blind? I'm standing here. Variety. Oh, yeah. Oh, what am I invisible? Still there, buddy? I might be done after this chapter. I'm getting tired. Hey, Vito, you made it. I'm hey, Eddie. Oh, nice shirt. threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me. We're gonna be made. No oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I wanna talk to you about what's gonna happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <sighs> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this, but you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family, but I figured Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together, just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too. When he got made. 
Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. <laughs> it's just a cutscene of me being bored. All right, your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, no. This family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family. Or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Dramatic. Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell. Just like this saint. Amico nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. It's so emotional, I'm gonna start crying. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And it's consul You might wonder why I'd take this risk man. again after spending you almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen. Stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work, too many risks. Well, I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Hey, hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You only live but once, but when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old, I'll let the good times roll. Don't sit there mumbling and talking trash. If you want to have a ball, you got to spend some cash. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old, I'll let the good times roll. How emotional, how cute, goals. Villa Scaletta. Sit there mumbling and talking trash. If you want to have a ball, you got to spend some cash. So let the good times roll. All right, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you to everyone for joining the live stream. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys eventually, tomorrow. You never know. See you later.